Hi guys and gals, it's John from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia, where it's all stress and honey, except there's no, there's honey. no honey. Where's my stress. honey? Uh, we, man, we got an 18 box record store day shipment today. I don't think we're going to show that to you today, but maybe tomorrow, massive restocks, so many buybacks. We just bought some really cool sealed puzzles, a whole bunch of sealed yep. Beatles puzzles. And we have one of the biggest uh, new release days of probably the last couple months. So we're gonna kick it off yep. with one of our biggest pre-orders of the year. I think actually our top pre-order of the year. Emily's gonna talk about it because she loves these guys and yes, gals. Ba -ba -da -da. Ta -da. Kongman Alasala. Their fourth album is an exercise in returning in order to go further and doing so on your own terms. It continues the mystery and sanctity that is the key to how the trio approach music. It's a window onto the bounties powering their vision a reimagining and refueling for the long haul ahead. We got three flavors for you. Beautiful Soleil vinyl, which actually matches this part of the cover. And it's die cut, it's awesome. Yep. Um, we also got the CD and the cassette. Super cool, Apologies super cool. Apologies if I lose my voice mid video. All right, but we're prepared. She's got a bottle of water standing by, just in case of emergency. Next up, we've got the Black Keys, Ohio Players. Their fourth album in five years, A Momentum with a Simple Explanation. Aubach says, we never stopped recording. We never worked harder to make a record. We took our time and we did it right. Patrick Carney says, what we wanted to accomplish with this record was make something that was fun. Indeed it is. On indie exclusive red vinyl with shiny CD option. Bowling, y'all. Next up, we've got Vampire Weekend. Only God was above us. In a press release, it was described as direct yet complex, showcasing the band at its grittiest, most beautiful, and melodic. Limited edition indie exclusive 2LP in an alternate covered gatefold jacket with printed inner sleeves and a 24 by 36 folded poster. Wow, that's bougie. <laughs> uh, next up, Mr. Freddy Gibbs, You Only Live Twice, following a tumultuous time in his personal life. The rapper's third album focuses on him overcoming his obstacles and rising from the ashes anew. It has no features, instead using the space to let Gibbs bear his soul. This is on deep red wax. Next, we have Marcus King, Mood Swings. This album marks the singer-guitarist's first time at Rick Rubin's famed Shangri-La Studios in Malibu to make a record with the producer. According to Variety, it promises to probe new depths for King, both musically and psychologically, on indie-exclusive Neon Orange. Old 97's American Primitive, their 13th studio album is glorious, gloriously rowdy, revealing a band more attuned than ever to the raw, reckless energy of timeless rock and roll on Olive Green, Old 97's. Next, Conan Gray, Found Heaven. The critically acclaimed global superstar is back with his third studio album, it includes singles Never Ending Song, Winner, Killing Me, and Lonely Dancers. In the exclusive Bullseye Edition on red and black color and color with a unique poster included. Nice. Next up, Ladysmith Black Mambazo, the best of. They are the unmatched masters of South African a cappella, and this release documents their vocal prowess. It covers from when they burst onto the scene when they participated with Paul Simon on Graceland and launched their years of worldwide touring to appearances on venues like Saturday Night Live. Their unparalleled artistry won them great fame and five Grammy Awards. So great. Next, Fabiana Palladino. The debut album from the London musician who broke out in 2017 as one of the Paul Institute's founding artists with her shadowy classicist R&B influenced pop. She's also an in-demand studio session musician for the likes of Subtract and Jesse Ware. Cool. Next up, we got Brim, Deep Sea Vents, the three-time Grammy award-winning songwriter and Williamsburg native Bruce Hornsby and the genre-leading contemporary classical ensemble Y Music, uh, or E Music, I don't know, unite for 10 new compositions on indie-exclusive Opaque Violet. Next, we have The Sincere's, Sincerely Yours. The So, So, the SoCal Soul Crew. Ooh, Ooh that's a tongue twister. SoCal Soul Crew. And I did it. I was the one. Uh, <laughs> have continuously created a distinctive vibe that explores all aspects of a timeless genre, bringing together their interpretation of music through an unmistakable modern lens. Limited edition turquoise vinyl. Uh, next up, we got Hilary Hahn Bach Concertos. The three time Grammy Award winner tackles the famous E major concerto with the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra over two LPs. Hey. Um. No doubt, the singles 92 to 2003. 
their greatest hits album now available on 180 gram vinyl listen to all your favorite tracks spider webs just a girl don't speak hella good and more to a piece set featuring a 12 page booklet with lyrics liner notes and photos we're rocking the hella good right now that's why we're bopping a little <laughs> uh next up we got the libertines all quiet on the eastern es esplanade frontman carl barat described it as the lifelong project of a life on the lash and drew comparisons to the 1971 novel Post Office by Bukowski. Uh, this is available on exclusive clear or double white with an embossed logo, Libertines. Next up, Jerry Garcia Acoustic Band, Almost Acoustic. Originally released in 1988, it features live recordings from the band's fall 1987 tour stops at the Wiltern in Los Angeles and the Warfield Theater in San Francisco. Uh, we got more Jerry Garcia acoustic, Ragged But Right, released in 2010. It features live recordings from the band's 1987 tour stops at Lunt Fontaine, if I pronounce that right, in New York City, Wilton Theater in LA, and Warfield in San Fran. Next, Wham! Make it big. Their sophomore album featured the singles Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, Everything She Wants, Freedom, and Careless Whisper, and cemented their place as pop icons, newly remastered and in limited pressing on white vinyl. All right, here we go. Mustard Plug, Yellow, number five. One of the more melodic, interesting bands of Scott's third wave. The group's fifth album features a mix of melodic choruses and horn charts, loudly distorted guitar, and upbeat punk or rock beats on purple vinyl. Those guys are great. Next up is Shakira, Las Mujeres, Ya No Yoran. The Global Superstars' 12th studio album features eight brand new songs and a remix in addition to seven global smash hits. Pressed on Diamond Clear. These hits don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Good <joke. laughs> Nice. Glenn Danzig, Black Aria 2, the extraordinary sequel to the solo project from Danzig. Misfits Mastermind is now available on black and red haze vinyl. The cover art, which we can't fully show, but you can see Jazz is covering the naughty bits there, uh, was done by Marvel comic artist Bill Senkowitsk, or something very similar to that. Sorry, Bill. Mm. Here we oh, go. Oh, no, I spilled water. Horace Silver Quintet, Silver Serenade. These five silver tunes epitomize his compositional style, captivating melodies, sophisticated harmonies, and intricate rhythms with an unerring sense of swing. This Blue Note Home Poet series was produced by Joe Harley and mastered by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tapes and pressed on 180 gram vinyl RTI packaging and deluxe gatefold tip on jacket. Whew. Next, we got Phosphorescent Revelator across the album singer songwriter Matthew Hawks sings from a woozy worn headspace but leads us to a place where dreams and reality mingle. This is on an exclusive Black Ice LP. We're going to take a commercial break inside of our commercial um, to say that you can uh, order all this stuff right now on afkbooksandrecords.com. Um, and we will either ship it to you for $5.99 in a super, super protective whiplash mailer, or you can pick it up here. Yep. Pay the same price, pick it up at the store, but you secure it. You make sure you get it tonight. Yep. Um, so, so we don't sell it to someone else. It's a good <laughs> idea because you can't. We're not to be trusted. Hey. Go ahead, Emily. I'm to be trusted. Garbage, Bleed Like Me. Newly remastered reissue of their fourth album, available for the first time on vinyl. Originally released in 2005 and featuring the hit single, Why Do You Love Me? This expanded edition features the main album plus rare B-sides, remixes, and alternate versions on two LPs. All right, next <laughs> up, we got Cedric Burnside, Hill Country Love. The 11th album from the Grammy Award-winning bluesman is a culmination of her career that's already seen astonishing accomplishments and only keeps growing. The 14 songs on the record were finished in two days, and in addition to being satisfied with the sound, he believes that it represents real creative progress. Cedric. Burnside's, they know the blues. Next is ABBA, Waterloo. To celebrate the band's second studio album's 50th anniversary, this two LP set is presented in high, quali high quality audio. Has been mastered by Model Show at Abbey Road Studios. Press on 108 gram vinyl and gatefold sleeve with OB strip and certificate of authenticity. There's our honey, honey. I knew we had if uh, they had honey, honey. Uh, Anthony Williams, Lifetime. The drummer had joined Miles Davis's band and played on landmark Blue Note albums by the time he recorded his 1964 debut, Lifetime, at the age of 18. This stereo Blue Note Tone Poet series was produced by Joe Harley, mastered by Kevin Gray from the original Analog Master Tapes Press and 180 gram vinyl at RTI and packaged in a deluxe gatefold tip on jacket. Ex Ambassadors, County. This project is inspired by the band's experience growing up in a small town in upstate New York, hence the album title, Townie. 
nostalgia not only for your hometown but for your adolescence and the blissful naivete of youth pressed on 180 grams Celine Dion, my love. This Essentials collection honors the classic songs that transformed her career and inspired millions. Compilation consists of some of Celine's biggest hits, such as the Oscar and Grammy winning My Heart Will Go On, All By Myself, Where Does My Heart Be Now, as well as the Linda Perry pen title track, My Love. Next up is Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, live in Montreux. The historically monumental concert performance by the blues legends, recorded in 1978 in the gorgeous seaside town at the foot of the Swiss Alps, this show cemented their reputation as the most significant, undeniable blues duo in music history. Super limited edition, only 400 copies, pressed on Coke bottle green. Only 400 copies? 400. Wow, and we got one, that's cool. Spectre, original soundtrack. Thomas Newman's thrilling orchestral score for the Bond flick heightened the action-packed film, which saw Daniel Craig reprise his role as 007 for the fourth time. It includes an instrumental version of Sam Smith's Bond main title song, Writing on the Wall, available on white 2LP. Bond. Next, Niall Horan, the show, the encore. The 1D heartthrob returns with the deluxe edition of his third album, featuring nine bonus tracks. Includes collaborations with Lizzie McAlpine and John Legend and new live recordings from the Electric Picnic Festival and Spotify Studios, plus alternate versions from his Vivo extended play session, two LPs on red and tan. Palace Ultrasound, armed with an already extensive catalog of stunning music, the British alt-rock band returns with their deeply personal four studio album on indie exclusive red vinyl. Um, we also got a bunch of stuff that we're not going to talk about because you know most of this stuff. <laughs> but these are really cool represses by um, a company called Cultural Factory out of New York. You can see they've got really cool, all, all licensed, legit stuff. We got Daryl Hall and John Oates. We got uh, Sex Pistols. Look at that cool color variant there. You're going to talk about this one because you know all about Asimov, that. Asimov, Live at Copacabana, um, blue. Is it blue or clear? I don't know. Super cool. Translucent blue. Uh, Gregory Isaacs. Beautiful gold edition. Um, we've got uh, Samson, which is actually uh, Bruce Dickinson on lead. The Bruce Super Dickinson. cool. And these are limited, these color variants. And we got a Duran Duran Thanksgiving Live that has a bunch of uh, stuff off of the wedding album, which you can't really get on vinyl. So it's pretty cool to get it even live. Um, and it's on a pretty color combo too. So um, let us know if you want any of this stuff. Yep. Um, I don't think we have all the Culture Factory stuff. Uh, on the site, but pretty much all the other pre-orders are up there. Uh, you can message us, uh, come on in and pre-order. It'll be waiting for you here tomorrow morning. Uh, but let us yep. know what you need. I think that's it. We're gonna try to, to keep digging out <laughs> here. Um, it's all hella good. It's all hella good. good. Uh, Hi. See you guys. <laughs>